everyone and welcome to Sweet Truth. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about some body confidence, exercise, mental health and physical health as well. And I've got two gorgeous models with me. Let's introduce ourselves. So we'll start here. Um, so I'm Natalie Phillips and I use my vessel for creative expression. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> and over here we've got... Hello, my name's Ursula and I'm a model. Right. Well, let's get started. So let's talk a little bit just to start with about how you started modelling and maybe, you know, the age and things like that. Should we start with that? Go on. Cut. Yeah. Um, pro I'm going to say about 18. Didn't really think I was going to be a model. Kind of just happened and folded. I got scouted on Facebook, I think it was, makeup artist, because Facebook was like oh. the thing at yeah. the time <laughs> um and she was just like come along to the shoot the photographer's seen you she really loves you and at this point i had like dreadlocks down to here oh my god i was like in college didn't really dress well at all didn't really <laughs> care about my appearance so i was kind of like a little bit confused by the offer <laughs> mm -hmm. um did the shoot and then it just snowballed i made like i think it was like purple port i think one of those like just pages of the images oh, yeah, yeah. next thing you know i was getting booked oh. i was in college for, like i did i completed my degree in art and design um and then just i was like i want to make some money now Oh. And then, yeah, it just it fell into place. I didn't really aim. That is yeah. so interesting because now that you hear, like, when people get scouted, it's either, like, in real life or on Instagram. Mm. And, like, to hear it was on Facebook, like, yeah, I think that yeah. just takes it all back to, like, how we used to do things. Like, yeah. now Facebook is so, like, hidden and yeah, maybe... Yeah, quite dated now, yeah. I feel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't use it. Like, yeah. I think, like, the grandparents will message me a couple of times and they're like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I have to download Messenger now. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you signed now, then, or are you just freelancing? Yeah, signed with um, Zoe Models. Oh. London oh, recently, amazing. like I remember I was on holiday in Italy mm -hmm. I was with um, um, an agency in Manchester which I then left um, mm -hmm. it was just kind of a choice of just better really yeah because um, I was freelance for a very long time right and I just kind of I wanted to get a little bit more kind of because London's completely different yeah it, like it's so diverse and it adds a little bit more of like just a completely different outlook yeah they work completely different to Manchester yeah don't they? I like, definitely agree yeah. yeah I think I work a lot with straight hair like mm. here in in London, like I recently went up and like so many people were like, Why is he straight in your hair? And I'm like, really? oh, oh, yeah. That's so good to like, hear. I yeah. wish I was there with you. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, but like it's so hard to crack as well sometimes, London, isn't it? Because when yeah. I find like have you ever been to like Castons in London? Oh my gosh, oh. yeah, and the queues are miles long. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to be strong. You've got to be strong. You've got to have a book. <laughs> yeah. Anything, like. Oh my gosh, I need to do like weight exercises to prepare, oh. like carrying my portfolio around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh I carry boots, God. like, because sometimes, like, just walking around London and getting everywhere, like, hurts me feet yeah. so much. So I'll be carrying, like, shoes, me portfolio, yeah, and everything. it feels like a heavy sack. It feels like I've just left home or ran away from home because yeah, I've got yeah. this big sack on my back. It's a workout in itself. Yeah, <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> You might be wondering where this amazing place is. We're at the home of Dirty Disco, the online female-led vintage store focused on sustainability. Use code SWEET20 to bag yourself 20% off. So let's go on to you. So when did you first start modeling? So um, I was a similar kind of situation actually. I was about 17 when I started modeling. Um, and I'd been scouted kind of uh, quite a few times actually from the ages of maybe 13. Oh my God. Um, but when I was younger, um, I suffered a lot with my mental health and that was a big reason why I didn't get into modeling younger. Right. And I'm, I'm so pleased I didn't back then because it just, I wasn't in the right kind of headspace to do that. Yeah. Um, but then when I was 17, a friend of mine had a vintage clothing company in Affleck and he asked me to model for his website and his girlfriend was a model. And so she, she could kind of like give me some tips and she was like, she, she really directed me and she, she was a massive help actually. Yeah. Um, and then it, yeah, it kind of just snowballed from there. Um, photographers saw what I was doing and mm -hmm. asked to shoot with me. And I must have wandered around for hours and hours doing like, you know, these little test shoots with all, you know. In the streets yeah, of Manchester. In the streets yeah. of Manchester, yeah, yeah. Um, and then um, a very good friend of mine, um, a photographer called Sam Pyatt, and he'd actually scouted me when I was 15. Oh, wow. Um, and he said, when 
I, when I was younger, I, I looked, I put on, I said, probably a little older than I do now. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, he said, oh yeah, get back to me when you're a little bit older. So when I was kind of 17, getting into my modeling more, um, he said, oh, well, why, why don't you get with an agency? I think oh. you should be with an agency. So he put me in touch with the, uh, Shador yeah. um, and the rest of his history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so interesting that it started so young yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, I was quite young. Like, I didn't ever experience being scouted until actually when I was signed. Oh, so, really? Yeah. How interesting. Like, I don't know. It was so strange, but I, it was almost like people knew that I, yeah, I modelled yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. It was funny, but yeah, I think you hold yourself a lot differently as well after your signs, and maybe like you know, I don't know, not so much that you know that you're a model, but like I think it just kind of clarifies something. I feel yeah, definitely. Yeah, it makes it feel it 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 transforms those <laughs> hours of wandering around the streets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. actually like okay I'm, I'm making money and yeah it took actually it took me a really long time and some you know only up until recently maybe a year or so ago that I realized that oh, I'm actually making money doing this this is a yeah. business this isn't just a, like a hobby or just something mm -hmm. that I was doing for the fun of it because that's how it started out and I never actually took it very seriously I yeah. never considered it very seriously and even with being with the agency for maybe a, a year or so it took me a long while to actually be like yeah this is a job and you know and as well because I think perhaps of how other people view the job I kind of almost let the stereotype of like oh it's such an easy job like yeah, yeah. you just stand around having your photo taken <laughs> I kind of I let that influence how I felt about it for a long time so I didn't really I didn't actually have a huge amount of respect for what I was doing mm -hmm. but now oh, that's interesting. but now yeah. I do because I I think actually yeah this you know it's very different from a lot of jobs out yeah. there yeah you know you can't really compare it to very many things no. so I think because in my head I'd had this idea of what it was to be like working and modeling was so far from that. Mm -hmm. it, it, I, I never really took it seriously. But now actually, now that I'm like, yeah, this, you know, this is my income. This yeah. is, this is my, my life. And I'm, you know, I'm working hard at it and I'm putting the effort in and I'm putting yeah. the hours in and it's not as easy as people yeah. think it is. No, Absolutely in no. no way. Yeah. You know, it's hard work. Yeah. It's really hard work. We were work, saying before, so. like, do you work part time still or did you used to? Yeah, yeah, I do all kinds of things. I do all sorts. Like, I learn a lot of money through Instagram, like yeah. pay, pay, pay posts, things like mm -hmm. that, just advertising or even just trying out new products. Like, mm. recently I've just been sent home, um, you know, CBD oil. Oh, yeah. And that's like something that I'm very passionate about yeah. anyway. Like, yeah. So restorative and healing for the body that I'm like, yes, mm. it's not just a dress, it's not just a two piece from like whatever's in like yeah. this guided yeah. pretty little thing. It's something that where people can actually like look at your stuff and, and like actually better themselves rather yeah. than yeah. the aesthetic side yeah, yeah. of what Instagram yeah, totally. kind of. But that's like an all round type of thing. Like I think nowadays as well, it's so interesting to see how models used to be and how they are now because mm. we are still expected to be that presence on social media now mm. as well. And like I, it, it's so strange. That? Like so, like one of my closest homies, he's not got like uh, like millions of followers, but he's mm. one of the best models I've ever met in my entire life. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of you're validated by the numbers. Oh yeah, my god, hundred percent. It. Yeah. The comparison between someone who's got like say what fifty k compared to like what he has say ten. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous that that gets judged. I've spoken to it's weird. um. <laughs> various people on jobs that I've been on and um, they've talked about kind of how they go about booking models and the amount of companies that you will be faced with two models, yeah. you know, one may be better suited for the job, but because the other one has more followers, the one with the more followers is always picked yeah. over the one with the fewer yeah. followers. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not always, but... It, I mean, and it, you know, I get it. It kind of makes sense, really, because if you're a company, you're a brand, and you want to get your your selling at the end of the day. You know, you're a business. Mm -hmm. You want to be putting yourself out to as many viewers yeah. and as many um, kind of buyers as as you possibly can. So of course you'd go for the pe person with more followers. But well, you say, I mean, I say of course, but really, then you think, well, actually no, because maybe the other person could have done a better job yeah. and you know sold it better. But mm -hmm. as well, it's like, um, you know, you can't then 
base everyone's worth on their following exactly and their yeah you know, that's not it's not right i think that's something that i struggle with as well because i've probably got the least followers on this couch at the moment sad but yeah like i'm pushed towards doing that so paris come on you need to post every day and do yeah, this yeah, and yeah. do that but i feel that's very like like unauthentic yeah because you're not doing it to be like to putting it out to what people see you as you point out for what other people want yeah and that can be a very windy down do you know what yeah. I mean? it's, a long it's hard road down in my it? eyes i think you know? it's hard as well like definitely as a model obviously what we're all drawing to here is the fact that you know these followers validate you and and sometimes it's hard to to know that because you could be a great model and not have that many followers yeah, yeah. and it's a tough industry isn't it like you know you're valued sometimes by your followers and that means you have to have thick skin for these yeah, type of things absolutely I think you know but as well what I kind of how I manage it is I see Instagram as a business mm -hmm. I have to separate myself personally from mm -hmm. it yeah, yeah. because so. I you know really I don't care what people think of me yeah you know I don't care you know I, you know, I know that looks aren't important, yeah. which is so contradictory to the thing that I'm working I learned in. that lesson, modelling. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember, like, being this very fabricated 16-year-old looking at Tumblr, like, that's where it all kind of yeah. started from, like, looking at all these girls, like, I was like, oh, I want to be that, I want to look yeah. like that, da, da 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 And I kind of maybe was attracted to that person reaching mm. out to me on Facebook saying, doing the shoot, like, I had all this, like, illusion of yeah. what was yeah, going to yeah, come, totally when really in fact that. the opposite happened, I learned the biggest lesson of my entire life, <laughs> yeah. and I'm, I learned it at, what, 18, 19? Yeah. yeah. And some people don't learn that till later on, yeah, when exactly. they're, like, old, and they're like, oh my god, I want to be on, and then, then you get all these women that, like, want to stuff the face with shit, because they want to be that again and yeah. I haven't think, learned that yeah, lesson at a young I feel age. like I have just like in this last year maybe went through that realisation and mm. finally when I stopped putting pressure on myself yeah, to yeah. you know do what others were doing I actually got happy in myself I got book I got I was booking more jobs yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. and it's weird it's how that weird, happens yeah. it's sort it, of like it, it fits that way I feel like the universe just kind of knows yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's like you put that positive energy out there and it comes, and it comes back yeah, to you yeah definitely yeah, but do you think mental health is key to this job then oh like, my how gosh would you... massive because obviously we touched on that before I don't think it's key to this job I think it's key to life yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> every, everything's connected yeah. everything like the like the universe you mentioned you know everything is kind of it's not a straightforward path yeah. and you have to like crack your mental health to do x y and z mm -hmm. like kind of just do it to be and to unfold naturally yeah. as you are like don't try and like i remember i was like right i need to be happy all the time i need to like charge my crystals up i need to be around good people all the time no bad vibes da, da, da. yeah like very that's very naive way of thinking mm -hmm. and you've kind of got to take the badness and that like i always feel as well like the bad like the anxiety the rushes of feelings that you do get from having your imbalanced days because everyone yeah. has it yeah. like I feel like they're great like places to start that yeah. self-love journey I think that's where my source is yeah, yeah like sort of like a period of where you're being a bit low and then I think you learn to deal with it learn to get over things but then I think that positivity sort of happens without you knowing yeah. And that's when you know it's probably the best. When yeah. you're sort of not thinking about it, not being conscious as to, oh my God, I've got to be happy. Just now, when maybe like after a bit, oh my God, like it's actually been Surrender. a really good time. Yeah. Yeah. It's surrendering, isn't it? Yeah. You're, not, you're not fixated on an outcome because you're not thinking about it. And that's yeah. like what I was like talking about earlier about mm -hmm. like the meditation and yoga and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about necessarily the pose for me anyway. It's about actually centering myself and balancing everything out mm -hmm. emotionally, physically, everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's but all yeah interconnected. What you just um, touched on there, you know, the idea of that instead of striving for something, just kind of taking a moment to be where you are and be present and be where yeah. you're, you know, you know, you can apply that to anything. So you could be like, oh, I want to look this way and you're striving to this end goal. Or you've been like, oh, I want to feel happy. I want to be this, you know, in this kind of mental state. And you're striving for that. But you get so caught up in wanting to be a particular way and wanting to get to this mm. end goal that you lose where you are now. Mm. And actually, you, you know, you can find the most happiness and the most peace when you say to yourself, okay, right, this is my body now. And that's so wherever I am not right now is exactly where I should be. It's exactly where I need to be. And I feel happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. You just, and you're grateful and you can take just a moment to be like, you know, okay, maybe there's things I want to work on 
that's great. I can work on those things. Yeah. But if you get far, you know, getting far too caught up in where you want to be and chasing after something, you know, that's where that's where anxiety comes from. It's this kind of you you create all these things in your head that haven't yet happened. You're you're not in the present moment. Mm -hmm. Similarly, depression, feelings of kind of, um, you know, feeling really low. That's the opposite. That's when you're stuck in the past, you know. So when whether your your body your mind is in the past or whether it's in the future, they're not happy stable places to be. Mm. Yeah. So as soon as you can bring it down to the present moment, and you're like, okay, well right now this is what I'm working with, and it's it's good, you know. Yeah. Like things are good. I think yeah, I I felt that as well. Like I think that's an easy trap for models to fall in because you're so especially in this day and age obviously we're talking about social media mm. you're constantly seeing everyone else's journeys so you're sort of like why isn't it happening for me yeah yeah and when I met you like I was I think it was foot asylum yeah, was it that's right, yeah. and I was saying before that when we did I remember you coming and it was so early in the morning and I was like nearly falling asleep <laughs> and you got your yoga mat out and went out into the corner and like started like doing some like yoga stuff and I was sat they're like oh my god I just want to sleep but she's getting ready for the day yeah. like that's but, amazing. That's amazing yeah like that. at that point I was sort of like I was really desperate for things to happen for yeah, me yeah. and I think taking a break out at the time I didn't want to hear it from anyone so no. from my agency from anyone like you know Paris take a step back and after I did I come back and I sort of didn't know how far I'd gone yeah, on yeah. that journey. Yeah. And only when I come back and started booking jobs, I was like, oh my God, it's, it's just fallen into place. And I think that's key to that, isn't it? But I think exercise does obviously help that and having sort of something, in my head, I think yoga is sort of something that you, you're very at peace with. Mm. And that sort of links into that idea. It's bringing that whole pressure down from being, oh, I need to do this, I need to... No, just... Yeah, well, that's <laughs> it. You're, you're on your mat and you're in that moment. You're present. You're not worrying about the future. You're not upset about the past. Mm -hmm. And you are in your present moment. And because it... Um, uh, uh, because you're so kind of focused and connected with your body... Mm -hmm. It, it, you know, I know a lot of people see it as like um, a physical exercise, but f no, for me, it's so much more of a mental exercise. It brings an awareness. Yeah. You can't and not be aware yeah, whilst yeah. you're doing yoga. It's kind of like a, but that awareness isn't also like, what's that person next to me doing? Did it? It's an awareness of your own energy field yeah. and what you're bringing out. It's, oh, there's so many layers to it. Yeah. That's why I like, but still like, even at this point, I feel like I will never sort of stop growing from it. I will constantly be learning. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like I'll, I'm not at a finishing point now. Like, yes, I know everything about yoga. Da, 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 da. Like I'm going to be going off to India. I want to learn about where it was born, where it all came wow. from. Yeah. Not so much the West side. Kind yeah. Of. Oh, totally. Yeah. It's kind of, it's not damaged. Like you were saying, like the way you can sort of teach it yeah. can actually be very detrimental um, as well. There's, there's some very, not bad. Cause I don't, I don't really work in duality. Like, good and bad but there are some people that do it with the wrong intention they do yeah. it just to push kind of that um exercise fitness mm -hmm. more the aesthetic the side aesthetic of and it, it's yeah. not about that it was never brought around for that mm. so when people are putting that out there people are damaging the bodies yeah. and yeah even mentally like yeah i think I, I, yeah i mean i think whatever reason you go into yoga it, i'm just happy that people are doing yoga <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like the more people great but then i think okay but you need to kind of like strip it back back away from the aesthetics and what what yoga is really about. It's not about the end position. It's not about becoming more flexible or being more strong. You know, they just kind of come along with it. They're like um, sub... Um, <laughs> An adult. They're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're adult. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, really what yoga is, you know, about is getting a relationship with your mind and your body mm. and being present. And, you know, every time that you step onto the mat, it's the intention. And, you know, I, I've been to so many classes where 
I'm just sobbing, and I'm like, how oh crazy my. is it? Yeah, I'm just screaming. Really? Yeah, yes, there's yeah. a lot of poses. The cut, like, like especially hip openers. Yeah, like, as yeah. women, we carry a lot of. Yeah, we so hold in much our hips. In your hips. Males, we're more like, um, they're more like shoulders, and it went as soon oh as we start God. opening that up, we're yeah. unlocking kind of hidden, like not emotions, but just things that we've held yeah, yeah, on to, yeah, yeah. and that's why it's so healthy and so good to like practice it every single day if you can, oh or at least as many as your times as you can, because. Yeah, it can it can unlock so much about yourself. And I've been I went to a recent. It was um, Yin Yoga. Have you heard yeah, of that? Yeah. I'd never done it before. I did it for a charity gig, oh, and I did, there was a giant gong in the in the middle of the room. Oh. I never practiced with a gong. I practiced with a singing bowl, and that was like yeah. got my heart yeah. going. But this <laughs> yeah. gong was like the size of this room, oh, and it was wow. vibrating, and the waves were coming through. Oh, gosh, All of a sudden, I'm in like I've got like my like ass up, face down, I'm in this <laughs> position, and like tears are just rolling yeah. out my eyes. But there's just candle lights, and no one can see. I was crying, <laughs> so I was like. What? I'm a mess right now, but I felt so good. <laughs> like, I did least yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, there's so many benefits. It'll yeah. just keep unraveling as well. Yeah. Like, if you ever do venture into I feel like I've been converted. Oh. Like, I want to experience this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, but again, as well, you know, you shouldn't go into it thinking, oh, I want to experience yeah. that. You know, it's 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 the same thing. You can't you can't go in with this, I want this to happen for me. Yeah. Or I'm going to get this much stronger. I'm going to be able to get in the splits, you know, because yeah. it's... Yoga is not about that. Mm -hmm. It's it's a you know as I was saying, it's about finding that connection yeah. with yeah. yourself and that awareness with yourself. And once you have that, you can carry that with you throughout your day and throughout your life. And that's why it's so amazing. That's why it's so transformative, because it it teaches you ways to manage yourself and manage your emotions mm -hmm. and manage your thoughts. You know, if you're in a position. And you're you're really struggling to hold it. I mean, you know, yoga should never be painful in this in the sense that you have sharp pain, but that right. the it's it's strong. You you might experience like a really strong stretch, which feels painful, but it's you know not a sharp pain. But when you're you're like, oh, I want to come out of this. I want to come out of this, and you keep on pushing, and you find yeah, you kind poses. of find yeah, yeah. And you find <laughs> these things, and you know it. I, I, I've just got so much to say yeah, about no, I'm like losing no, all my words. Much, it's great. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. 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 Um, oh. But you know, and you can carry that throughout your day, and you you are able to find this little bit of peace and this mm -hmm. little bit of tranquility that you didn't know that you had, and yeah. um, you know, kind of relating it again back to mental health, it was an absolute rock. For me during my mental health mm -hmm. and I don't think there were many classes where I would go and I wouldn't cry yeah. because I, I you know I was holding on to so much but you know I think just the act of saying okay I'm gonna spend 10 minutes half an hour an hour an hour and a half however long you're practicing mm -hmm. and this time is for myself right. and I'm doing something that's good for myself that's good for my body yeah. I'm respecting myself I'm looking after myself and, you know, I know so many people who are struggling, even with the basics, looking after themselves. Yeah, yeah And definitely. it becomes, you know, it's a lack of self-love. Do you think, like, do you wish that maybe the media, like, reflected that type of idea more? Because we see more of, like, the, the instant effect where it's, like, everything happens instantly and obviously yeah. that doesn't happen in real life. Mm. Do you wish it was more of, like, respecting the process and promoting more of a, like a better mental health well-being for everyone and this well, is yeah, like how I mean, we should so much is like instant gratification yeah now. it's that instant gratification as soon as you get a like coming yeah through. you know every, yeah every, everything want everything is so instant these days you know next day delivery yeah you can whiten your teeth with just in just 10 minutes and mm -hmm. you can you know everything whatever you want you can have it right now yeah whatever that might might be it's like films or yeah. like series now on netflix like Back in the day, you were waiting, you were kind of building that momentum yeah. up I mean, it's, to yeah. see the next series, there's whereas so, now like, so you can just watch things, it back yeah. to back to back. Right, completed it, done, next one, next yeah. one, done, done, done. do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so it's lost the... I don't know. What you know, and really kind of work. similarly, you know, what you were saying before, you wanted the jobs now, you want them yeah, to come through yeah. now, and you're looking at other people and you're seeing what they're doing and you want that to be happening yeah. for you now. And, you know life does not work like that no no definitely that, you not. know that's not healthy it's not natural you know it's it's not it's I not feel okay like to get caught up in that they should have like yoga classes i think they have them in my mum's work now 
but they should have them in workplaces. Like I know in that my workplace. Yeah. I've seen yeah. that a lot. I've seen it. Around. They should do it more for for models as well. Like we need this and just everyone. But again, I think another thing, kind of on similar lines there with the modelling, uh, with the yoga. Sorry, is that when you practice regularly, you get mini victories. So yeah. something that you couldn't do a month ago, you can do now, and whether you, it's you can touch your toes. Yeah. And it's like, oh, wow, you you can see your body developing in small, tiny ways over a long period of time. Mm -hmm. But again, it's that it's the journey that you're going on. And you again, something that is so relatable to to your life. And I think it's quite symbolic as well to life in general. And that's why I, I sort of I really love this episode, because this isn't just aimed at the industry. This isn't mm -hmm. just aimed at models, although it, it would be helpful for us. It's helpful for everyone, everyone and it's it's something that really everyone should, you know, consider. Like just Honestly, if I think if you know, if if yoga was compulsory in schools. Yes. And oh. you know, similarly yoga was available in all workspaces mm -hmm. and everyone was doing yoga and kind of but you know, it was it was um advertised in a way that isn't about the aesthetics yeah. in a way that is true to kind of what yoga is really about and if everyone was doing yoga oh my gosh it the be, world yeah, would be a very different place. Place. a bit more patience yeah you know? i think <laughs> that's I, a big thing yeah <laughs> have you ever like been on jobs where like they sort of embrace that type of men like that type of i don't know lifestyle do you think like in the industry like where I've been on a shoot where it's give off that vibe. Yeah. Where, well, yeah. So like the last one, I think it was for Cold Beautiful. I um I just woke up and they were like, right, we just want you to be you. Like do your yoga. I don't want you to kind of pose. That was like, we yeah. don't want you like knowing that we're around here with all these cameras, these mics, these lights, everything. Mm -hmm. We want you to just be you. And I said, oh my God, that was like <laughs> yeah. the dream job. Everyone else was like, oh my God, I want to end up working in LA. I want to do this one. I'm like, I just want to wake yeah. up and do yoga. Because yeah. I was going to- yeah, I was going to say, because I saw you did Nike, yeah. and obviously that's such a massive deal, but to see you doing your little yoga thing there, like, I was like, this is massive. Yeah. We're not seeing, like, the, you know, the, and this is great anyway, but we're not just seeing the football players or something like that, like, yeah, yeah. the whole idea of this. We're just seeing something really just bliss, and you just there, on your own, comfortable with yourself. Yeah, yeah. Doing your yoga poses. Well, you know, I... A, working with Nike was amazing, but actually, I mean, it's just another job. I don't think it, like, makes things any, like, makes me a better or worse yeah, model, yeah. you know. At the end of the day, it's just another job. I'm so grateful for the opportunities, yeah. but then I, I feel like it's not actually a big deal. Oh. Like, not, not attached to no, it. No, yeah, I'm still, not attached to it. Yeah, just, I can say like, it's amazing. Just, yeah, it yeah, I'm like, you know, thing, I had an, but... an amazing time. The people that I met were yeah. just, like incredible you know I felt so inspired by every yeah. single person um but you know I've been on jobs with maybe less kind of reptile bands same thing you know I've worked with amazing people yeah. you know then at the end of the day it is it is just a name but um but you know I I love everything that that Nike encompasses and the fact yeah, that exactly. they gave me an opportunity and a, a space to do what I love and they you know they did it in such an organic way yeah. so so um I was uh, uh, one of my very 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 favorite models she's called Joanne she's yeah. absolutely brilliant I absolutely love her um and uh this you know this is one of the amazing things that we can form these beautiful friendships anyway um and we were just doing our yoga sequences yeah. together and just flowing together and kind of sounds like similar and that's to how, your yeah, job it that. wasn't like the cameras were there yeah. we were just flowing and we were just enjoying like, yeah the, like doing yoga with one another and connecting through that and you know I think to be able to be given a platform and to say you know to be recognized for something that you enjoy and something you know that that you love so much yeah and then to like that's okay. Well, that's your job. That's that is your so work. Good, like, yeah. you know, I don't feel like I'm working when I'm doing when well, I'm doing the yoga and 
yeah that's i feel like it's such a good plat well, like i say such a good platform to show that and I, i'd love to see more of that in the future and i love shoots where they really embrace who you are and what you do yeah and just well, that's there. that's the th you know again that's why i think nike is such yeah. an amazing company because everyone that they're working with you know, they're such an individual. They have so much yeah, passion. Exactly. And so, so much passion about what they're doing. And honestly, the 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 people that I met on those shoots were just incredible. Mm -hmm. But you know, they they all taught me so much about, you know, about myself and about them and about life. And yeah. I was just in awe of everyone <laughs> and and I think, you know, to be able to um to be in an environment like that is you know so beautiful and so amazing, amazing. Yeah. yeah well i think i have been converted to be honest <laughs> yes. so i'm gonna i should have brought my yoga mat yes. with me yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna conclude this one because i've got to get to yoga now so <laughs> thanks so much for coming today and it was lovely to oh, talk to you both thank you so much for having thank us oh, <laughs> thank you it's been amazing thanks everyone for watching and i hope this thank has you. helped as well <laughs> lots of love thanks <laughs> <laughs> So therefore, I'm going to be 100 with you and tell you really what it she was. It just got real.